Welcome to Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug and today we're going to make a special dinner for Yvonne tonight. It's my famous taco soup. Plus, I'm going to make some fresh guacamole and Yvonne's favorite chilies doriados. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so let's go through the ingredients. So the very first thing we're gonna talk about is the taco soup. And we're gonna need one pound of ground beef. This is 93% lean, 7% fat. You're gonna need two cans of regular tomato sauce. This is um, the, sorry, the eight ounce cans. So two eight ounce cans. Um, I'm using Rotel here. This is a 10 ounce can, the mild. You can use spicy if you'd like. Um, we might be using some pickled jalapenos for garnish later. Um, you're also going to need a taco seasoning mix, uh, Old El Paso, mild. Once again, you can go with spicy if you want. And Hidden Valley, the original ranch seasoning, salad dressing. And this uh, I put in my taco soup too, believe it or not. We have some queso fresco cheese, yum, Mexican style cheese. And we're gonna need one, actually, uh, we're gonna need an onion, but we're gonna only be using probably about half of it. So we're gonna dice it up small, add it to our meat mixture. And we're also gonna need some Tostitos um, bite-sized chips. I just love it with the chips. Um, <laughs> and then sour cream also. So that is for the taco soup, very easy. Then for the guacamole, we're gonna need a little bit of red onion. We're gonna need three avocados. Make sure when you look at your avocado, press into it. If it's, you can press into it, then you know it's ready. If it's too hard, you can't use it. You're gonna have to let it sit out for a little bit, for a few days. But this one, you can see by pressing into it, has a little indent, so these are ready. I have a morquejete here. This is like a mortar and pestle. I like making it in here. It makes it very authentic. And believe it or not, the stone um, is really awesome to use and it really breaks it down nicely. Um, cilantro, I have organic uh, cilantro here. We're gonna need garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, of course. I got some cherry tomatoes that I just chopped up in forts. And that is basically for the guacamole. Now the chili toreados, we have three uh, jalapeno peppers here. We are going to cut off the stem. We're actually gonna slice them in half. And I'm gonna leave the seeds because Yvonne loves it spicy. But if you can't have spicy, just take out the seeds and you should be fine. Now the serrano peppers here, um, that's a different story here. That one we're going to put in the oil hole, but we're gonna put slices, little um, cuts into the uh, pepper, so this way it um, cooks within the pepper, okay? And we're gonna also uh, take off the stems. And we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be using some vegetable oil to cook it in with. And we're also gonna add some white onion to this into the pan later and some soy sauce, believe it or not, a little soy sauce. And that's the ingredients that we're gonna need to make our delicious meal for Yvonne today. Let's get cooking. Okay, so you might be asking, why are we making this special meal for Yvonne? Well, Yvonne is going through a transition uh, in his job, and so he has a new opportunity. 
and he's super excited about it. So I wanted to celebrate tonight um, without him knowing. I already told him I was gonna make taco soup, but he doesn't know I'm doing all this. But um, anyway, I just wanted to uh, make something special for him tonight because he's been working his butt off. Um, he has a job that requires seven days a week and long hours. Plus he drives 45 minutes uh, back and forth. So um, that's 90 minutes a day minimum on the road. So I know he's exhausted um, and I wanna make a special meal tonight because he has this new opportunity now which he'll only be driving 20 minutes, which I am so excited about, because I was really worried about the long drive with him. And um, it's a new great opportunity with a new company. And so I'm very proud of him. So I want to, um, I want to make this special meal for him. So let's start cooking. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is heat up my pan. I have a large skillet here and I wanna heat up my oil, I'm using extra virgin olive oil, and I wanna do pretty much enough to cover the base. And I wanna heat that up. You wanna make sure that this is nice and hot. We're gonna add our onions to this and then our beef. So I'm gonna add my onions. Can you hear that sizzle? That's how you know the oil is hot enough. So we're gonna cook our onions just a little bit, probably about two minutes. And then we're gonna add garlic, cook that for another minute or two. And then we're gonna start adding the, then we're gonna start adding the beef, okay. I love onions, oh, I love it. Okay, we're gonna add some garlic. This is probably like a little tablespoon. Give that a nice mix. Mmm, garlic and onions, so good. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Give that a nice mix. Let's cook that for about one more minute and then we're gonna start adding our beef. Okay, we're gonna start adding our beef. Make sure your hands are always clean when you cook. Brown our beef, mix it in with the onions. Okay, so you can see our beef is browning nicely. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic and onion powder. Now I know I already have garlic and onion on here but I like adding the powder on top of it. Now the garlic. Just sprinkle the top a little bit. Like I said, it already has the onions and the garlic in it, but I like adding the powder too. I like a very flavorful, love the taste of the onion and the garlic. I already put the salt and pepper, so it's just a little bit. There's a lot of things that we already have salt in it, so I don't want to put that much salt. Otherwise, it would be too salty. All right, like especially when you use the to Tostito chips, they're very salty, so you don't really need that much salt. All right, so that's nice and brown. All right, so we're gonna be using uh, this taco seasoning mix. This is Old El Paso. And 
the meat has cooked for around six to seven minutes. And we want to use the seasoning mix with a little water. It calls for three fourths of a cup. So I do a little bit less than that. And we're just gonna stir that in. And just like the instructions say, we're gonna cook it uh, uncovered three to four minutes, stirring often. That's all it takes. I like using the mild one. Like I said, you can use the more the spicier one if you'd like, but I can't have it too spicy. Now, Yvonne can, but that's why I'm making his chili toreados. <laughs> so he can add his chili toreados to this. Okay, so I have a pot here. I'm gonna add two cans of tomato sauce. This is, don't forget, for my taco soup. Now, an ingredient that I forgot to buy at the store that I usually put in my taco soup is corn, but I forgot to get it. So all you do is, you know, just remember a can of corn. And I'm gonna put this on a uh, medium to low flame. Gonna stir it. I'm gonna, after I, it cooks just a little bit, I'm gonna let it cook for around two minutes. And then we're gonna start adding the beef and we're gonna start adding, well, we gotta add the rotel first. So let me add the rotel. This is the mild diced tomatoes and green chilies. Stir that in. And then we're going to add our Hidden Valley Ranch Seasoning Mix. Give that a nice stir. You're going to stir that until that's all dissolved. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my beef. With the oil and everything. I'm gonna stir that in. And don't forget, if you have corn, add the corn. I just forgot the corn. Ugh, I hate when I forget things at the store. We're gonna cook this on a low heat and we're gonna let it cook for about 15 minutes or so. Okay, so for my uh, chili toreados here, I got my jalapeno pepper, I cut off the ends and I just sliced them in half. Like I said, I'm gonna leave the seeds because Yvonne likes it spicy, but if you can't have spicy, just take those seeds out. Now the serrano pepper, same thing, I'm going to Take off the, the, the stem part, and I'm going to poke with my knife here. I'm gonna make some incisions because um, we don't want the pepper to explode in the oil. <laughs> And also, we want to make sure the inside gets cooked. Okay. So, I'm just making these incisions. Okay. So, there's that. Now, be careful. You don't want to get those seeds on your hands. Make sure that you uh, try not to do that. All right, we're gonna start getting the oil ready and adding our uh, peppers to the skillet. Okay, here's my skillet. I'm gonna put this on a medium heat. I've got my vegetable oil here. I'm gonna actually um, 
probably put enough definitely to cover the base and a little bit more, okay? Because we want we want to definitely cook those peppers in the hot oil. Now, when we cook our peppers, it should last maybe five minutes or so. And we're gonna use tongs to help us toss them because we wanna constantly toss them. We don't wanna burn, burn them. So I'm gonna let my skillet heat up and then we're gonna add our peppers. Okay. This should be heated up, so I'm gonna start adding the peppers. Okay, so I'm going to start timing it now. You can hear the little pops. I would stand back a little bit. You don't want it squirting you in the face. Okay, I'm lowering my, my heat is on a uh, low medium now. I'm going to start to turn them. You can see how they're starting to change the uh, color a little bit. This is probably like a quarter, if that, of a yellow onion, okay? So we're gonna add that in about one minute. We're going to add our onions. Chili toreados, people. Chili toreados. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. The soy sauce is going to have uh, salt, so you don't want to add too much salt. It's going to be too salty. The last uh, minute or two, we're going to add just a couple of drops of the soy sauce. Okay, I'm just using Market Pantry traditional uh, soy sauce here. So just a couple of drops. And this has about two more minutes to cook. Just keep tossing it a little bit here and there. Okay, I have a uh, slotted spoon. And we're gonna start taking these out in just a bit. I'm gonna give it one more minute.
the chili toreados are ready to be taken out. It looks so good, smells so good. Now you want a slotted spoon. You want to get those onions, but you don't want all that oil. We're just going to be putting them in this bowl here. is chili toreados. Okay, so we're gonna start making our guacamole. So I have a red onion here and I want to dice up just a little bit. Can you use white onion or yellow onion? I have before in the past, but I just like red onion with my guacamole. Okay, now with your uh, avocado. First of all, let's get my morquejete here. This is all made out of stone. And what we're gonna do, we're going to, um, this is how I open my avocado. Basically, like that, and I just squeeze it in here. Now you can squeeze it, you can get a spoon and scoop it out. The pit or the seed, I call it a pit. Some people don't like when you squeeze it out, but I do it all the time, so I don't know. Works for me, whatever works for you. I'm using three. I'm going to add my red onions. I'm not gonna use all of it, just maybe about half of it. So I'm going to use the uh, rest of the red onion for something else later. I got my lime. I want to squeeze some lime juice. We're going to add our cherry tomatoes. Now, if you don't want to add a lot of cherry tomatoes to yours, you don't have to. I just like a lot of tomatoes. And then we're going to definitely add our cilantro, our fresh cilantro leaves, and some salt and pepper. Have a little salt. Have a little bit of pepper. And then I'm going to get my molcajete <laughs> and I'm smashing it, smashing it all together. Now something else I like to add to my guacamole is a little bit of sour cream. You don't have to, but I like adding just a little bit, probably like a table, a teaspoon, maybe a, a hefty teaspoon. <laughs> just give it a nice mix. Now you should always taste it. Mmm, so good, excellent. Mmm, I'm gonna add a few tomatoes on top just as a garnish, a little bit of extra cilantro. So let me wash these leaves right here real quick. Okay, so welcome back. So let me show you how I like to prepare it. So you want to make it nice, get a nice bowl. Um, this bowl, I think I got at Target many, many years ago, but I like it because of the brown on the outside and the black in the inside. And so before I start putting my soup in there, I like to place 
some to Tostito bite-sized chips at the bottom, just at the very bottom, just like that, just a few. And then I'm going to get my taco soup. And don't forget the corn. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot the corn, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, we're gonna place it right here. Probably two nice spoonfuls. If you drip anything on a plate, you want to clean that up, make it look nice. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this Mexican blend cheese just for color. But the cheese that's gonna be super yummy is the queso fresco cheese right here. So I'm putting that on top. Mm, my mouth is watering already. And then I wanna get a little dollop of sour cream. And then one or two pickled jalapenos. Oh, that looks so pretty. And here you go. A beautiful, beautiful little taco soup with some gorgeous guacamole and Milan's chili doreados. So thank you so much for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. Remember, if you want that homey vibe, you need to subscribe. And please give this video a like. Until next time, my friends, happy healthy living. Bye-bye.